One of Claremore's favorite local spots, Dots Cafe, is trying to stay afloat during the pandemic, despite sales being down by more than half. Dramatically, I mean, very, very slow. We we're down to just curbside takeout, or we are now delivering in city limits. The family owned business is getting creative with social distancing when they bring out the food. So we've always joked about doing honk and holler orders, so now we're officially doing it. I didn't think they would, and I'm like, why is everyone honking? And my mom's like, you have it on the sign, honk and holler. Brandy Gatzmeyer, manager at the cafe, believes what attracts people here is their home style cooking. And familiar faces. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Have you a good so day. Uh -huh. Bye bye. Her grandmother opened the restaurant in 1971, and for the first time, it's had to shut down its dining area. Yeah. Most of our customers have become like family. We expect to see them every day, so it's sad not getting to see our usuals. Hours have also been reduced, and an employee was laid off. Brandy says she's not even getting paid right now, just volunteering her time to help the family run business. They've added daily specials for breakfast and lunch to attract more customers, taking it one day at a time. We're trying to keep the doors open as we have. I mean, enough customers come in to help us free buy the groceries. I mean, we're obviously not making a killing off of it, but we just don't want to don't want to lock the doors up. The cafe is open six days a week and closed on Sundays. We'll have all this information on our website. And of course, make sure to follow me on Facebook. We've been posting these stories every morning. Reporting in Claremore, Jitzel Puente, Two Works for You. And other small shops next to Dots Cafe that are fighting to stay open are Dorothy's Flowers, the Farmhouse Home Decor Store, and Boomerang Diner.